Okay guys, this video is about trans the rules for transformation. Now, we need you to know that when you're doing transformation rules, these rules are constant or con rather consistent, whether you're talking about linear function, you're talking about a quadratic function, and you're, or you're talking about an exponential function. Either way, all these rules apply. You're going to work the same way. So let's look at the first one. So if we look at this function notation, it says f of x plus m. Now we know that f of x is actually our y value. So they're telling you that they're adding m units to the y value. So that would mean that there would be a vertical translation going up by m units along the y-axis. What we need to know is that when you're doing that transformation, the x value doesn't change, just the y value. So let's look at these examples. And if you notice, every example is going to, we're just going to be consistent with those coordinate points, with that coordinate point. So they're saying that the y, we're going to add three, basically. So I'm going to keep my negative two because that's my x value. So it's going to be negative four plus three, which is negative one. Therefore, my coordinate point is going to be negative 2, negative 1. Now, once again, we use, we're affecting the y value, and now we're subtracting, which would mean, once again, once you're dealing with the y value, you're, doing, you're going along the y-axis. Because you're subtracting, you're going down the y-axis by however many units that they told you. Once again, X doesn't change, just Y changes. So I'm going to do negative 2, negative 4, minus 3. And we know that negative 4 minus 3 is going to be negative 7. Therefore, our ordered pair is going to be negative 2, negative 7. If we look here, you notice that it's no longer F of X being affected, it's no, it's directly affecting the x value. Now, the x value, when we talk about um, translation or transformation, is a little bit tricky. I want to remind you guys of when we did vertex form and you had x minus h. And anytime you put in a negative number, so if my coordinates were negative 2, negative 4, when I put in a negative number, it actually changed the sign. So what you need to know is that what, even though you're seeing x plus n, it's actually x minus negative 2 or negative n, which changes it to plus. That means that you would have a horizontal shift along the x-axis going left. Make sure that doesn't trick you when you see that plus sign. You actually put input in a negative number. So when we're doing horizontal, because we're moving along the x-axis, the y value doesn't change, just the x-axis, just the x value. So that's going to be negative 2 minus 3 comma negative 4, which changes to negative 5 comma negative 4. Once again, it's affecting only the x value. And now this time, it says subtract or minus n, which means it's going to be a positive number. And you're going to go along the, uh, the x-axis, but going, on, going right. So once again, x changes. So that's going to be negative 2 plus 3, negative 4. And you see, we, I show you right here and right here what you actually do. So that's going to be one comma negative four. All right, let's scroll up a little bit. So let's clear that and let's move up so we can finish it off. Now, when we get here, once again, we're dealing with the Y value. So that's going to be cha a change on the Y value. And what that's really saying, it's negative one time F of X 
which represents a reflection over the x-axis. Because it's a reflection over the x-axis, the x values don't change, just a y value changes because it's actually changing the y value. If you notice, the signs change for the y value. So if I had, so remember this is negative one times f of x. So if I had negative two, that doesn't change. So negative four times negative one. So that becomes negative two, negative four times negative one is positive four. Now, with the x value, if you see it inside, it's affecting, if you see f and then of negative x, which means f of negative one times x, it's going to be a reflection over your y-axis and then you're going to see the change in your x value. So let's go ahead and do that. So that's going to be negative two times negative one comma negative four, which becomes two negative four. Then we get into our vertical stretches and our vertical compression. Now, you notice once again, A is being multiplied by the Y value. So that's what's going to change. Um, if the absolute value of A, which means that we don't want to focus so much on the sign, but actually the digit. So if that digit, so if you had negative two, you're gonna do the absolute value of negative two, which is actually positive two. So if your A value, not considering the sign is greater than one, you're gonna have a vertical stretch. If your A value is less than one, you're gonna have a vertical compression. So, and Y changes. So let's take a, a look at this one. We would do negative two comma two times negative four, which becomes negative two, negative eight. Now, with the y value, with the x value, it's a little bit tricky. What's going to happen here is you're going to have to, you're going to affect the x value. So if the absolute value of b is greater than 1, then you're going to have a horizontal compression. If the absolute value of b is greater than 0 but less than 1, you're going to have a horizontal stretch. What's going to happen, and this is key, is that x is going to be divided by b. So I showed you two examples. So for this one, it says that it would be negative two divided by two comma negative four. And negative two divided by two would give me negative one comma negative four. Make our y value doesn't change. Then if it was one half, it would be negative two divided by one half. And we know when we divide by a fraction, you do the reciprocal. So it's um, multiply by two because one half reciprocal would be two over one, which is the same as two comma negative four, which would change to negative four comma negative four. If you guys can remember the rules and see what is being a um, affected is going to make transformation a lot easier. I hope this helps.